What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. So today we're doing something exciting. As you know, I've been trying to get into more food related videos. Today we'll be doing a full fast food chicken sandwich tier list. I have seven to eight places that I wanna go to. On my phone, I have the tier list that I made. So we're going from S to F, if you can see. I just wanna say, that if there is a spicy on the menu, I will most likely choose that option just because I do prefer spicy chicken sandwiches. Uh, if they don't, then I'll default to the normal chicken sandwich. And I also do not like pickles, so we will be getting no pickles. But without further ado, let's head to the first stop. Hey. Weston. Weston, what can I get for you, sir? Can I get a spicy chicken sandwich with no pickles? Just the entree. Anything else? Uh, Chick fil A sauce and then a uh, chocolate chip cookie. Chocolate chip cookie. Anything else? That's it. Your total is going to be $6.48. Is that going to be cash or card? Card. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. I know, I know it's a chicken sandwich tier list, but if you haven't had Chick fil A's chocolate chip cookie, it's insane. So I had to get it. Um, just because this is like my day to eat and I want that so that's what we're gonna get spicy chicken sandwich no pickle and I did get chick-fil-a sauce because I feel like it's unfair to chick-fil-a to not use their sauce when every other chick like every other chicken sandwich has a sauce on it uh, for the most part if one doesn't then uh, maybe I'll get a sauce from wherever it is but uh, yeah I think this is mine yes thank you so much bag secured sandwich number one let's go all right so we're parked looks like a decent spot so let's go ahead and get into the review all the all the chicken sandwiches come in like in this insulated container which is nice uh, keeps it warm but let's take her out but he's been to chick-fil-a but just in case you haven't okay so here she is honestly a pretty uh, a pretty nice breast I'm gonna go one bite without the Chick-fil-A sauce, and then we'll go one bite with the sauce. Off the bat, we're start we're starting strong. It is Chick-fil-A. Super hot, super fresh. So that obviously adds to it. Chick-fil-A is normally pretty busy. And so when, when a place is busy, they're turning over food faster, and so usually it's fresh because they're making it because there's so many people buying. Yup. It just takes it, it takes it up to another level. All right, go to the tier list. I mean, honestly, Honestly, I think this is, I think this is right. We're going to go ahead and put it in A tier. I don't want to put anything in S tier until I try everything. And then whatever is the best will get moved to S tier. But for right now, I need to leave that space blank. So Chick-fil-A, I mean, I grew up eating Chick-fil-A, so I might be a little biased, but I would go 9-2 on Chick-fil-A's chicken sandwich. But we're not done. We got to, because I love food so much, because I gotta put you guys on, if you've never had Chick-fil-A's chocolate chip cookie, we get a bonus review. This cookie is insane, by the way. Here's what she looks like. Yep. I mean, Chick if you ever had Chick-fil-A's cookie, it's unreal. Well, I'm just gonna eat the whole thing. All right, so we're in line at Raising Cane's uh, Chicken Fingers. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that Cane's is definitely a weakness of mine. During bulks, I go get the Caniac combo, no slaw, extra toast, but I've actually never had their chicken sandwich, which is just, I think they're chicken tenders with a bun and then their sauce. 
So I'm curious to see if I like this. I, I'm counting it as a chicken sandwich, but it is made of chicken tenders. There's a little bit of a discrepancy there. And going back to sauces, sauce is king at Cane's. Cane's sauce, I think it was voted the number one most addicting sauce uh, in all like fast food. Let's see how Cane's stacks up to Chick-fil-A. Is there any way just to get the sandwich or do I have to get the combo? Yeah, I think it's set by set. Okay, I'll just get the uh, sandwich then. Anything else? That's it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, cool. The sun's bright. I'm eating a lot of, I can't, you probably can't see me, but I'm eating a lot of sandwiches today, so I don't want to eat fries. But we got the sandwich. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, have a nice day. Well, the lady working said I had pretty eyes, so this might be a S tier, we'll see. So the Cane's chicken sandwich comes in a little, little box like this, I guess, if you get it without the, uh, the fries. All right, now this is gonna this is gonna be a mess. This this is gonna be a mess, and this is not gonna be good. But we'll make it work. We'll make it work. I got I got one I got one spare napkin from Chick Fil A. They gave me no napkins. Said I had nice eyes, but did not give me a napkin. Um, so it's in a little a little wrapper, which is kind of nice. So maybe it won't fall as much as it would if I didn't. Um, all right, so we're looking at. The chicken tenders with, it has lettuce, which is unlike most chicken sandwiches. And then you have the cane sauce. So it looks like three chicken tenders, cane sauce with lettuce. And then this bun is actually super soft and kind of big. I gotta get, I gotta, I gotta really get in there to get the, uh, the chicken. Let's go right here. Okay. Damn, bro. We pull this right out of the fryer. Shit's hot. All right, one more. All right, one more. Mmm. Oh. By the way, it's like 95 right now in Texas, and I have to turn off the air conditioning so that it doesn't mess with the mic, so that you can't hear it. I'm starting to sweat a little bit, eating a bunch of meat. But anyways, sandwich is very good, very good. I'm having a hard time distinguishing between if the sandwich is actually good or it's just the sauce. Like the components together minus the sauce, so all the components minus the sauce, is it still a good sandwich? I'm having a hard time. I don't think so. I think the sauce is what makes it. The sauce almost overpowers the sandwich. I'm not even tasting the chicken at that point. And I'm tasting more of the, the fry, like the fried part of the chicken, not really the chicken. The lettuce really adds nothing, except it kind of just looks good. Makes you feel like you're eating a little bit healthier. Uh, the bun is unreal. I'm gonna have to drop it in the B, the B tier list. So right below Chick-fil-A, it's a good chicken sandwich. It's just, I don't know, I feel like the sauce takes over too much. The sauce is really good, but when I want a chicken sandwich, I think I want more of the chicken to shine through. Uh, so that's my opinion on that. There were no desserts here that I could I could get to have a uh, bonus review. But if I had to do overall, I'd say Kane's chicken sandwich in 8.6. 8.6 out of 10. I think I said Chick-fil-A was a 9.2. Uh, so let's head to the next destination. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just kind of like picking whatever's closest on the maps, but yeah, let's head to stop number three. I have never been to Jollibee. I just realized they have chicken, so I think they have a chicken sandwich. Let's find out. I have no idea. Can I just get the uh, spicy chicken sandwich, please? Would that be all? Uh, does that come with pickles on it? No, it's okay. jalapenos. Okay, that's good. That's it. Okay, 540 is the window. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So the only reason I know about Jollibee is because of Mikey Chen, but it's a Filipino fast food restaurant. The lighting is horrible. I can't do anything about it. The sun's setting. I'm running out of time. I have like four more places to go. I really don't want to go to McDonald's because I know that that sandwich is absolute shit, but we have to do it anyways. Jollibee sells like spaghetti and fried chicken. 
maybe I'll come back and try the spaghetti. Off the bat, feels big. So it feels bigger than the first two that we've had, Chick-fil-A and Cane's. And they gave me a bunch of napkins. Love that. So here's what she looks like just in a big ass wrap. I mean, this is a big, this is a big sandwich. I've never, I've already said this, but I've never been to Jollibee. We didn't have Jollibee where I was, uh, where I grew up in Georgia. All right, let's take a look at her. Let's just take her all the way out. Okay. I mean, that's that's a good sized chicken patty or chicken breast, chicken filet, whatever the, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's got some type of spicy sauce on it. And then she said jalapenos. This is the spicy one. Oh, wow. Wow. Hold up. I don't know if you guys can see, but I mean that, that's some juicy chicken and it's thick. I need another, I need another bite. Oh, there's another jalapeno right here. I'm shook. This is unreal. Jollibee, why have I never gone? Why? All right. Look, I gotta put it down. I got more sandwiches to eat. This is gonna be controversial, I already know. We're moving Chick-fil-A down to B, we're moving Cane's down to C, and we're putting Jolly B at A. The heat, the heat, it's in my mouth. If you like spicy, that's actually a spicy chicken sandwich. Like the, the, the chicken, there's spice in it, and then there's spicy sauce, and then there's jalapenos. What else do you want? Let's go, let's go to McDonald's. Uh, the spicy crispy, my bad. Uh, no pickle, please. All right, so they made me pull forward to the reserved drive through spot. So I'm guessing that the chicken sandwich is actually gonna be fresh and made like right now, so that's a positive. I haven't been to McDonald's in so long. The only thing I ever get from McDonald's would be the breakfast, the McGriddles are un unreal, and then the hash browns. Thank you. Have a nice day. Here we go. Never had this before either. I've only had the McChicken. There's a time and place for the McChicken. So spicy, crispy chicken, no pickle. Napkins, so that's a positive. It's a little... I mean, I'm not gonna judge it. I just wanna say that this is definitely the smallest. Like, this is the size of my hand. So this is probably the smallest one. There is sauce on it, but it's... I guess it's a spicy sauce. We're gonna go and get it, give it a try. No judgment here until I try it. Can't judge a book by its cover. So, let's see. No. No. I'm sorry, no. Something, no, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not taking another bite of that. I shouldn't have taken that big of a bite. Um, I don't, like, I don't even know. <laughs> it just, something tastes off about it. Like not, like it doesn't taste like that's how it's supposed to taste. So it's, it's not good. It's not good. Um, yeah, I would not, I would not get that sandwich. And uh, if we go to the tier list, F, F tier is pretty much right down here at the very bottom. You can't go any lower. I, I'm not I'm not trying to hate. I know I, I said I don't want to try McDonald's. I've only had the McChicken. I've never had that before. That is not good. That is not good at all. Something tastes off and wrong about it. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get some water in and uh, head to the next stop. The only thing that I ever get from from Wendy's would be the Baconator. And then also they use or the Frosty as well. Uh, that's a classic, iconic. The other thing, I don't know if they still have it, but it was a like a spicy chicken snack wrap like McDonald's used to have. I don't know if you guys remember, they McDonald's used to have these little snack wraps, these crispy chicken snack wraps with ranch and like lettuce. I haven't had <laughs> Wendy's 
uh, chicken sandwich either. I haven't heard great things about it. Hey, can I just get a spicy chicken sandwich with no tomato, please? All right, what else are you doing? That's it. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Uh, chocolate chip cookie. Chocolate chip cookie. That's that's it. Yeah. One Just one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Damn, bro, I got finessed to get the cookie. You hurt like you hurt her. She was like fresh baked cookie. How am I gonna say no to a fresh baked cookie? So now we get a secondary review: Wendy's chocolate chip cookie against Chick Fil A's chocolate chip cookie. The uh, chicken sandwich out of the way first. Doesn't look horrible. Presentation is is actually kind of nice. It's really warm. I can feel it. It's really warm. That is a lot of mayonnaise. I mean that like <laughs> that's a good bit of mayonnaise right there i'm not a big mayo person but uh let's give it a try all right let me get one more bite okay the fact that the sandwich was extremely hot is definitely helping it but i i honestly thought it was going to be worse than than what it was Definitely after I took a look at it and saw all that mayonnaise, not as bad as I thought. It wasn't spicy at all. It tasted like an original chicken sandwich, even though I got spicy. We're gonna drop it into the D tier, right underneath Cane's, but above McDonald's. It's definitely not a McDonald's. McDonald's is unedible. I'll be completely honest, unedible. Oh, we got a cookie. <laughs> Pardon me, I need this because I'm a little bit savored out. I need a little bit of sweetness in my life. So I've never had a cookie from Wendy's. Oh, this is just, I mean, it's just, it's just, look, I can't even take, it's just crumbling. Let's see. Wendy, what are you doing to me? I might have to eat the whole thing just to get like a fair rating. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. All right. <laughs> Hold up. I got finessed. I got finessed into getting that cookie. I wasn't supposed to get it. Am I mad about it? Not at all. That cookie is unreal. Uh, <laughs> it's honestly on par with, with Chick-fil-A, which I didn't think I'd find another cookie that's on par with Chick-fil-A in terms of fast food restaurants, except for Subway. Subway has insane cookies. Sandwich, by the way, I'm gonna give it a 7.4. McDonald's, I'm going all the way down to like a 4.8. Jollibee is up at like a 9.4. That cookie's insane. Let's go ahead and head to the next destination. Hey, can I get the spicy chicken sandwich, just the entree with no pickles, and then the uh, the apple pie if you have one? All right. I mean, I saw I saw apple pie, <laughs> and I'm like I'm I'm a sweet guy. I like sweets. So all this savory, like I need a little bit of sweet to counteract, just to give it a, to give the next sandwich a fair rating, you know. So a little bit of sweet after the savory next sandwich. I come in, it's savory, something a little different, uh, gives it a better rating. Anyways. Popeyes, of course, is the the place that started the chicken sandwich war. So uh, I've had this before, but it was a long time ago. I remember it being pretty damn good. Yeah, and we also get, we also get a bonus review of apple pie. Uh, <laughs> luckily, because I'm a fat ass and I love sweets. All right, we got our Popeyes. Let's see what we got here. I already know. I already know by how how massive this thing is. Napkins as well. We got a nice little apple pie in there. We'll go, we'll get into after. All right. I feel like this is gonna be the, the sandwich that I'm gonna have trouble putting down, but I don't wanna hype it up too much. You never, okay, yeah. Yeah, she's pretty big. Definitely, Jollibee was really close. Definitely the biggest uh, actual like chicken patty out of all of them. Got a nice, uh, a nice sauce on the bottom. I'm just gonna have to take it out of the wrapper. This is dangerous, but someone's gotta do it. I mean, it's just, bro, 
That's pretty. That's actually pretty. And it's crispy. I can already tell it's crispy. So let's see. I mean, did you hear that? I'll go again. I'm in. Bro. Hold up. I mean, what? No. It's really, I mean, this is, this is a really good chicken sandwich. The bun is pillowy. The chicken breast itself is huge, crispy, fresh, a little bit of spice, not too much. Jollibee might have been a little bit too much spice for most people. For me, it was fine. Like they have actual jalapenos on the sandwich. This just has a spicy sauce, not as spicy as Jollibee. And at this point, I might as well just finish the whole thing. Let's go ahead. I mean, I think, I think from my reaction, you kind of already know where this is going. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and put that all the way at the top at S tier. Uh, it's the best so far. That's a that's a nine nine six to me. I mean, I don't want to go all the way to ten just because you know figure skating rules, Dave Portnoy. Um, pizza reviews you know one by everybody knows the rules kind of deal and i just want to point out that that was the only chicken sandwich that i fully consumed let's break her open see what she looks like Ooh, ah fuck. it's hot it's the inside's really hot i can't i just gotta go for it i just burnt the fuck out of my mouth that's really damn good that's damn good apple pie It's so, oh, it's so good. This is re this is really good. I've never had an apple pie from a fast food place. Not even a not even McDonald's. Oh nope. Uh uh. Blowing on it does not help. But wow. I'm already in too deep, I can't stop. They need to literally give you a, a disclaimer that says don't eat this shit right away. Cause you will burn the hell out of your mouth. The top of my mouth, the roof of my the roof of my mouth is gone. Was it worth it? Yeah, but Okay. I'm pretty sure <laughs> pretty sure Popeye's chicken sandwich is the most calorie dense. Maybe that's why it's the best, but Let's head to the last stop or the last two stops. I think we have to do Burger King and we have to do KFC. We're gonna go ahead and knock out Burger King and KFC drive through right away because we're running out of daylight and then we'll do them together. Hey, can I get the spicy chicken, just the sandwich with no pickle, please? Uh, do you guys have any shakes by chance? Yeah, chocolate vanilla and Oreo. Let's do uh, let's do an Oreo, please. All right, I I needed some ice cream because I, you know. Final stop. Believe it or not, I've actually never had KFC in my life. Like nothing from their menu, uh, just like Jolly Bee. So can I have the spicy chicken sandwich with no pickle, just the entree? All right. Heard good things. Don't let me down, KFC, Mr. Colonel. <laughs> Pray all the chicken goes to the biceps. This shake's really good. All right, let's get into the last two sandwiches. All right, we'll go in order. So Burger King, and it was right across the street, so it's still hot, because I want everyone to have a fair shot. This looks big. See all the grease on there? That's a good sign, it's a good sign. Okay, 
Now they gave me pickles. I asked for no pickle, they gave me pickle. Not gonna deduct them for that, uh, cause I'm a big boy and I can just take off the pickles. So that's what we're gonna do. It's okay, I won't let it affect my decision. This is pretty. This thing looks pretty. Really thick, really thick chicken breast. Looks like, it looks like a Popeye's chicken sandwich. So let's give it a try. Okay. Okay, Burger King. I see you. Wow. All right, one more. Very impressed, very impressed. The flavor, the flavor of the spice, I'm gonna be honest, it might be better. It might be better than Popeyes. But I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna go ahead and move it up. You know what I wanna do? I'm gonna move Jollibee down, move Popeyes down, Burger King down. So I'm gonna move Popeyes and Burger King to A. B is gonna be Chick-fil-A and Jollibee. And then C is Cane's, D is Wendy's, and F is McDonald's. So Burger King and Popeyes, very similar sandwich. Crispy, really thick, good spicy sauce. The the spice from Burger King I do like a little bit more, but something about how the, the Popeyes came together uh, makes up for it. So I'm gonna go nine five for Burger King. It's just it's not there at Popeyes, but it's it's damn close. So I'm gonna put it at A with Popeyes. And now the last chicken sandwich, KFC. This is also another big one. So it looks like Popeyes and Burger King and KFC all have a very similar uh, style of sandwich. This looks good. This looks, I mean, that is, that's a pretty looking chicken. This might be the prettiest one I've seen. The chicken doesn't look like it's the spicy part. It looks like the sauce on it. The sauce on it is the spicy part. I don't think the chicken is actually spiced. So this is definitely the biggest, I mean, that's that's by far the biggest chicken breast that we've had. Uh, so KFC, let's see. Okay. The hot, give me a second. Wow. All right, so this is interesting. The chicken from KFC is, is it's king. It's like, it's the best chicken by far. The issue I have with KFC is that I don't, there's like not, it's not, there's not a lot of flavor. So yes, the chicken is like the prime part of the sandwich, which is how it should be. It's a chicken sandwich. But there's no there's no flavor, which I'm I'm actually really disappointed because the chicken is by like it's, it's definitely the best chicken, but the the flavor is just not it's not then that that puts me in a weird spot with the tier list. It puts me in a weird spot. I'm gonna have to go KFC. This is tough. This is tough because I don't think, I think Chick-fil-A is better than KFC. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. And I think Jolly Bee's better. But the chicken's so good, but it doesn't matter. If the, if the whole sandwich doesn't come together, then it doesn't matter. What I'm gonna do, this, okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put KFC in the C tier list with Canes. You know what? I can't do that either. All right, we're moving Popeyes and Burger King up. We're moving Jollibee up to A. We're moving Chick-fil-A up to A. We're moving KFC to B, Cane's to C, Wendy's to D, and McDonald's to F. There we go. I feel like that's fair. I feel like that's a good tier list. Um, that's a lot of chicken. Hold up. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of chicken. I am like, I'm sweating right now from all the spicy chicken, but that's my tier list of fast food chicken sandwiches. I didn't go to Shake Shack because I consider that like a, 
like a fast casual restaurant. These are fast food restaurants. The only one that I didn't hit that I wanted to hit would be Zaxby's. I've heard good things about Zaxby's, but I uh, just don't have time. We're running out of daylight. It's almost about to be dark out. Uh, and I've been driving around for like four hours because this takes a while uh, driving to all these fast food places. But hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, again, thank you so much for all the support. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.